Welcome to Hawaii, everyone. Look alive. You're at the Motor Fest. time. That chopper ride is always a trip. So, welcome again to the Motor Fest. I'm Malu, the Motor Fest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. You are our special guests, athletes, festival goers, car lovers, all gathered here in majestic Hawaii. These are the festival grounds, but we've got the whole island set up for you. We've created a place where you can drive anything from the iconic to the super customized. It's a Motorfest branded, lovingly crafted car culture celebration. We call these lovelies the playlists. And I'm not just reading from the Motorfest app here either. I tried them out before you arrived. And <laughs> here, let me show you. This playlist is a unique Motorfest experience. It's called Made in Japan. these playlists out for you is what I call a perk of the job. Right in the center of all the action, racing these Japanese drift masters, just awesome. The next playlist was 
Off-roading addict. A chance to race into the wild. Driving off-road gives you an opportunity to carve your own path, to explore the open expanse. The island becomes your playground. Total freedom becomes your creed. pickups, quads, you're given every chance to go off the beaten path. But the next playlist is all about the competition. Aptly named the Motorsports Playlist, this one is for the pros. is built around racing to the top, the thrill of competing, but it's also about strategic choices, decision-making under pressure. feeling than triumphing with your team in what some consider the apex of motorsports. to go for the pit stop, checking on your rivals, it gets intense. Felt good to be the champion, but then I got to go old school. Vintage garage. A playlist for the true car aficionado. With these cars, it's not just about the look or the nostalgia. 
It's how these things drive, how they feel, how they steer. It was quite a challenge, in the best way possible. Outside of some collector car park, when would you ever get a chance to take these venerable legends for a spin? That's the power of Vintage Garage. A taste of an age where there was no nitro to boost you and no GPS to guide you. Feels strangely comforting. and in with the new, they say. The next playlist is legendary. Lamborghini. A playlist to truly experience the iconic, the trailblazing. I'm running out of adjectives here. saw that Lamborghini logo, you knew what this playlist was gonna be. Some of the most recognizable car designs in existence at your disposal. quite like some of these cars. It's like a speed race through the story of Lamborghini, one of power and innovation. Riding the full roster of these legends was a rare privilege, a privilege Motorfest graciously gave me. And now, it's your turn. what you saw? Well, those were just the tip of the iceberg. But we've got to go step by step. Follow me. Look around you. This is what it's all about. Cars, bikes, rides, and good vibes. You'll get to explore the festival soon enough. And let's not forget, we're in Hawaii. And there's no better place to express yourself, show off your flair, customize your ride. It's a car culture buffet. Keep up. We're going to go meet the star of the show. Your car, of course. Come on. It's time for you to pick your ride. Once you pick your car, I'll hand you over to Kara, your personal AI assistant. When in doubt, you can always rely on her to guide you. Engaged. All engines. 
cử Hello driver, I'm Kara. Let me assist you in choosing a playlist Japan. Race over asphalt and drift. Hawaii scenic tour. Discover 9-11 legacy. A Porsche story. Experience the made in Japan. New playlist ahead. Let's go. playlist together to give you a taste of Japanese racing culture. vehicles are a modest dream. These souped-up speeders pack a pile of torque. vehicles and there's no one better than Japanese speed racers to show you the ropes you'll get extra detail real soon but let's head to the container first you discover almost everything the Japanese drivers have to offer. Next in line. We couldn't take you 
to Japan, so we brought Japan to you. There's a special gathering tonight at the Japanese temple. The start of a whole new experience. Here's what to expect when getting there. A traditional Japanese summer vibe and lots of Kyusha cars. Meaning iconic, classic and made in Japan. On top of this, expect some exciting encounters. That's right. Motorfest has got some killer people to introduce you to an authentic Japanese racing experience. Don't worry, you'll meet them soon enough. Sorry you had to wait, kid. Wanna show us what you can do? Try this car then. Us to show you how it's done, but we don't do free tours here. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. Are you familiar with the Honda you're driving? The MSX isn't your regular streetcar. It was made back in the 90s to stand neck and neck with the likes of Ferrari and Porsche. You sound just like Shingo. Speaking about Shingo, you know that if a rookie beats us with his NSX, we won't hear the end of it, right? I don't even want to think about giving Shingo the satisfaction. Better focus and win this thing, then. NSX stands for? New Sports Car Experimental. I wasn't asking you, Hina. they said. Feels just like our own traditional festival back home. Yes, <laughs> to 
は車の扱いを心得てるらしい面白いじゃないか To rest on your laurels. Keep going, driver. Our next stop, Kaneui. The pack is with. for you there and is willing to show you some more of the racing culture. Wangensen, also called Tokyo Bayshore Route or Route B, is a famous stretch of highway for street racers. Almost every racer in the 80s and 90s knows about it. Some of the best drivers have pushed their engines on this very road. Even notorious racing groups like the Midnight Club have cut their teeth here. 
And that's what slightly inspired our next event. Shine like a real hasharia with my NSX. Got me interested. Well, then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah? Well, bring it on. The show continues, kid. But watch out. You're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Can't blame her. The R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. for a rookie. The Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. buddy. race you gotta go fast friend well guys i don't think it's gonna be a problem this is the skyline we're talking about careful buddy Dragons are massive. You got a wish to make? Sharp turn, careful. Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up! I remember that.
取ったと知ればレンが喜ぶぞ Japanese gearheads who raced in the mountains in order to keep city pedestrians safe. Along with suboptimal road conditions, these mountain passes are filled with hairpin turns and other challenges. Drifting is the best way to take sharp turns without losing speed. In Japan, we call these passes toge. There's even a toge style of racing. It would be a good place to teach you. Oh, and one last thing a toge race usually features only two racers. You got it, you're in for a duel. Put the whole festival euphoria on hold for a while and get a proper face off. Let me show you what Toge is all about. Relax. I've seen what you can do. Daijoubada. Plus, I'll give you some tips on the way. is being able to balance the brake and gas pedal at every turn. One wrong move and you're out. This technique isn't easy, but when you pull it off, you feel like the greatest driver alive and the coolest. is a third gen 2002 Mazda RX-7. Lightweight, compact, a sick rotary engine, and one hell of a look. That's Tanada's car, and she seems pretty confident you can beat me with it. Let's prove her wrong. There's a 
tunnel coming. It gets tricky at high speed. Make sure you don't lose control. Let's keep the scratches to a minimum, shall we? way down. That's the best and also the toughest part, so stay sharp. and this is it. Come on, show me some real toge driving. driver on to the next one you've just shown us how well you could use drifting techniques in a race now that you're all warmed up how about a full-on drift event the coast and the view of the ocean is stunning at least that's what my databases tell me again I'm just a robot I hope
hope you've liked the RX-7, because you'll be driving it again during this challenge. Except this time, she'll be waiting for you all modded and upgraded. You've seen traditional Japan, now it's time to enter the modern age. Be prepared, the contrast is stunning. I knew it. There's something about you. Hayato is one of the best racers I know. Kudos. And now, welcome to my playground, the drift track. Drifting was born in Japan. That is where you'll find the biggest drifting scene and some of the best drifting spots, of course. Like, the Ebisu Circuit is one of the most famous places in the world for drifting. Designed by drifters, for drifters. Who knows? Maybe Motorfest will get you drifting there someday. Tougher yet still elegant? That is my RX-7 2.0 for you. Because Japanese car culture isn't only famous for its drifting history, it also brought modern cars to another level, among many other things. Come on, you're almost done. Push that beauty to its limit. You have my permission. share of gearheads. There's a drag spot set up not too far from here. This runway is one of the best places to drag race on the island. Warm up your engine and don't blink. This will be a quick one.
Well done. Let's move on to the following event.